In this video, we're going to look at doing a paper, a paper weaving. So paper weaving ends up looking like this. When we're done, there it makes a pattern, kind of like a checkerboard pattern. So we start off with a piece of paper, and it is folded in half. And it's important to know what the top is. The top is where the two pieces are. And what we're going to do, we're going to draw a line close to the top. And we're going to write our name on it. And that line is to help us know where to stop. So we're going to start at the bottom. The bottom is where the fold is. Make sure your bottom is the fold. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut from the fold up to that name line and stop. And the most simple way to do this is straight lines. So if this is your first time weaving, I would keep it simple with straight lines. If you've done this before, then you might branch out and you could try mixing it up a little bit and doing some lines that are wavy. The one trick with wavy lines is you want to make sure that those lines do not touch so you can't cut off pieces of it so make sure your cut lines stay away from each other but we're going to cut all the way across making sure that the fold is where we started and we're cutting up to this line and stopping at that line once we've done that, we're going to unfold it, and here is our loom. And then we're going to take some strips of any other paper. You could also use grass, you could use newspaper, you could use cardboard, you could use strips of plastic, anything you have. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern. And that pattern is going to start with two words, over and under. So under means that we lift up a piece of paper and we literally push it under. Over means we go on top. So under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over under, all the way to the top. Now the important thing is to the, the second time, we do not start the same way. So we started under, now we have to start over. So over to start, under, over, under, over, under, over, lift up to go under all the way to the top but see how my purple and my green are never right beside each other if they're right beside each other then i've met i've mixed up my pattern somewhere all right so let's look at where we're starting next i went under i went over so now i start under again so under over under, over, under, over, under, over, and under. And again, I'm going to check to make sure that my orange is never beside my green. Now starting again, under, over, under. What's going to come next? Over. That's right. All right. And I'm going to check. Is there anywhere that mine 
have my two colors are beside each other, pink and orange. <gasps> right there, my pink and orange are beside each other. So I'm going to slide it back down, and I'm going to fix my pattern. I went over two places. So I'm going to go back and go under after I went over. So if we all make mistakes. We go back and fix it, and now it's okay. Now, everything looks fine. And I'll continue that all the way across. I'll do one more with you. We're going to go under, over, under, over, under. All right. And we're going to do that all the way across. Okay, so to finish up, the last thing I like to always do is I try to push my pieces cl as close together as I can get them. The other thing I like to do at the end is I like to glue the tops and bottoms down so they'll stay in place. So I'll lift and put a dot of glue and press it back down. And I'll do that at the top and the bottom. All the way across. And then I flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing. And that will make sure that our weaving stays together. I hope you enjoyed making your weaving. It's a great fun way to make patterns. And all you need to make beautiful weavings is just two pieces of paper. Bye.